So, today's video is a bit of a, a deviation, you know, from, from the normal pessimistic stuff that we always talk about. Today is going to be all about three important signs of a healthy relationship. Now, we all go through life and none of us are made to be alone, right? I think um, when you're at that age, when you're in your, your late teens, your early 20s, you think you can conquer the world alone. But unfortunately, you begin to realize that you do need that one person behind you. You do need that one person in your life that can kind of de-stress you, that can keep you motivated. That's the most important thing. So I'm going to be giving you three tips for a healthy, healthy, uh, three tips for a healthy relationship that you need to look out for uh, when choosing a partner. And when you see these three signs in your relationship, please know that your relationship is on the right track. Now, what do you need to do first? You need to subscribe. Please subscribe and smash the post notifications bell next to it so that you stay up to date with the content that I drop. I try and drop a video every single day of the week. So make sure you stay up to date with the content and let's get this ball rolling. The first thing that I traditionally am gonna bring up is something that we have trouble with in today's society. And the first sign of a truly healthy relationship is proven loyalty. Not only loyalty, proven loyalty, right? With the emphasis on that proven. Now, it's one thing to say that you care for somebody. It's one thing to say that you're there for somebody, you love somebody. All good, right? Words, beautiful words, fantastic, well done. But overrated as f in my opinion. I mean, and you know what though? That's typically how the bullshit goes, you feel me? Do your actions prove it? Does your loyalty prove it? If you, let's say you're a girl and you have a boyfriend, if you go out, do you stay loyal? Same with the guy, if you have a girlfriend, if you go out, do you stay loyal, right? Now, it's, it's, it's human nature to have wandering eyes sometimes. That is just built into our genetics, it's built into our genes. That is something that, it's a natural instinct that you really can't get rid of. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. But when it comes to controlling yourself, when it comes to just stepping, taking a step back and saying, you know what? I have a person, I'm loyal to this person and I'm gonna remain loyal to that person because that is what she would have wanted from me. That is what I would have wanted from her, uh, vice versa, etc., etc. So proven loyalty is the most important aspect of a health relationship in my opinion. Let me know which your, what is your most important thing that you look out for in a health relationship leave comment it down below right now before you continue this video let's move on to healthy sign number two a few moments later any healthy relationship will involve true support again once again not only support true and genuine support now listen there's a fine line to be drawn here there's a fine line to be drawn between constructive criticism and between criticism that's that's not founded if your partner is, you know, thinking of a new business venture, thinking of a new hobby, thinking of a new career, you gotta sit down with him or her and you gotta listen to what they have to say. You gotta take in it from the, take all of the information in from their perspective before you just jump on the bandwagon and begin criticizing left, right, and center. Emotional damn Right? We all, as I said in many videos, we all stay in that comfort zone. We all just love the things that we continue to do day after day after day, even though it gets boring, we stay there because it's comfortable for us. But if your partner is willing to take a step outside of the comfort zone, who are you to critique? You're supposed to be there to listen. I'm not saying give constructive criticism because constructive criticism is needed. It is needed to keep things realistic. But if you really, really feel, if you really support this person, you really believe in this person, and this person really believes in themselves, well, it's better at the end of the day to go about in supporting them in their venture. And truth be told, if that relationship is any healthy, did I just say any healthy, why? 10 seconds later. If that relationship is healthy, it'll be vice versa. If you give support, you will receive support back. It's like that rule of the, when you give to the universe, the universe gives back to you. It's the same with the relationship. If you show support, the other person has to, show, has to show support as well. That is the characteristic of a healthy relationship. We all have a separate interest, no doubt. But we need to have respect and insight for the interests of other people and our partners, our significant others. So be supportive, be open-minded, 
give constructive criticism where needed. I know it is. there's a fine line to draw, as I said, between unfounded criticism and constructive criticism, there's a very fine line to draw. But make sure you keep things realistic and make sure you support them if they truly believe in themselves and if they truly believe in what they're going to do. Let's move on. And final characteristic of any health relationship, in my humble opinion, is that you are each other's lifelines when troubled waters arise. When things get rocky, when things get stormy, things seem gloomy, there's no getting out, you lift each other up. If you make a financial mistake and you land in terrible, terrible debt, there's no use in your partner telling you how terrible you are. There's no use in your partner criticizing you. Rather, sit down and break down the problem. Sit down and come up with constructive solutions together in order to get yourselves out of that hole. Because if one party is just on a mission to criticize, you're never gonna get out of that hole and probably the relationship will end because of it. I see so, so many you know, younger couples, older couples, um, going down because of finances, going down because of one person making a mistake and the other person just hammering continuously on that mistake. <laughs> and the thing I hate most is people bringing up issues from the past, that they're always, there's always that one thing from the past that they hammer on continuously. That is not a sign of health relationship, so if you're in that type of relationship, please get out. I know it's easier said than done, but believe me, in the long run, it will be healthier for you and your mindset and your goals. So, ladies and gentlemen, three signs to look out for. Let's go over them. I got to look at my whiteboard to remember. Proven loyalty, true support, and also be each other's lifelines in troubled waters. If you notice those three things in your relationship, well, things can only go up from here. Things can only go good from here. But... If you're lacking at least two of these three things in your relationship, you might want to consider reevaluating your situation. Like, share, comment, and subscribe if you liked this video, if you found this helpful. If you think this video would, would be helpful to someone, please send it to them, share it to them. Friends, family, send it to them. Uh, I appreciate you watching, guys. Really, really much. Do not forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.